It's your party. It's your party. Um, you know, we, we said in the invitation tonight, um, no long speeches. No long speeches. And I think that was directed at me. <laughs> so I looked in the mirror this morning and I said, gee, this is a good looking 45 year old. Yeah. Beside me, my 35 year old wife. And when I look at many of you, I thought, Anyway, uh, when I do look at you, I see people who have known me all my life. Mom, <laughs> for sure, and me. And the other day, during Mr. Avila on Yom Kippur, uh, I was sitting beside Mom, Yom Kippur. And, and Ben was sitting beside Lynn. And We're so fortunate to have all of our celebrations to celebrate with us, all four of us, and our spouses and children and grandchildren have benefited from being able to be together in the same city and by the example you set. And thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Most of all, thank you for your jeans. Uh -huh. the ones I'm wearing. <laughs> Jeffrey, Marilyn, Daniel, Aaron. Daniel, thanks so much for taking 24 hours to be here tonight. And we miss the rest of your family at this time. Elijah, Benjamin, Shai, Bella, and Noah. Sarah, and Nathan, and Bella, and Leah. And of course, Naomi, who did know me for all of her life. Think of her and miss her always, especially on occasions like this. And then there's one person who's known me for half of my life. Yes, 35 years. My dear wife, companion, best friend, love of my life, and the life of my love. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with my idiosyncrasies, <laughs> of which I admit none. <laughs> Skiing, moving law firms, and, and while on the subject of years, years together, a bit more than 29 years ago, Doc Fingers played at our wedding. Oh, yeah, I remember. So we asked him back tonight. He's doing well for 29 years. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Your medical 
those two programs scheduled him for a 24-hour on-call rotation for tonight. And he has a note from the supervising physician I would like to read. That's right. <laughs> Unfortunately, Aaron cannot be excused from call on October 2. <laughs> <laughs> we visited Aaron and his was
The second reason that I aspire to be like my dad is the commitment and dedication that he has to all of his endeavors, his work, his community, his friends and family, and his playtime. It is this committed attitude that I have inherited from my dad that has helped me achieve success and placed me on the right track to achieving my goal of practicing medicine. Finally, I strongly believe that my dad is as respected as he is because of his incredibly positive outlook. I cannot recall a single day, a single ski day, that was not <laughs> the best day of the year. <laughs> know, by the way, that living in New York where you can't, I'm throwing this in, where you can't ski all the time and don't know the access, it's like Monday morning phone call. I'm at work, it's about 11 o'clock, it's 9 o'clock, I had the best day of the year. Thanks, Dad. In fact, I dreamt once about skiing at the end of the season with Dad, jumping from snow patch to snow patch down Lower France with him, exclaiming how great the conditions were. Although a dream, I am sure that this would be his response if we were to go up the mountain this weekend. For this reason, I am confident that tonight will not only be the greatest celebration that my dad has had so far, but that this year my dad's life will be more exceptional than 70 years to precede it. Happy, birth happy birthday with much love, Aaron. Oh, that's